Hello everybody, welcome back to Sin City Living. Jason here bringing you today's video. So I've got a fun little strategy that was uh, uh, sent to us. This is the only email that I've gotten in the last, uh, I don't know, three, four weeks. So um, don't really have a whole lot of videos I'm gonna be able to put up for you guys. Just don't have, uh, it's not getting a whole lot of requests from everybody. But today's video comes from Brad and he calls it the, he just calls it the 88 or the 88. It's, it's a fairly simple strategy. He's just uh, taking one very, very simple uh, and common and excellent betting strategy and then just, just uh, crossing it with a couple of other strategies as well. Thank you, by the way, everybody for the coffees. Very, very appreciated. Uh, we're trying to save up for a big concert I'm hoping to see. So we're putting all those aside instead of buying coffee at the moment. Um, so Brad sets the strategy on a $15 minimum bet table, which is still, I'm not gonna say easy to find, but is still definitely findable here in Vegas, even on the strip. Now, if you're at Center Strip, some of the premier properties, finding a $15 table at say 7 p.m. on a Friday, probably not happening. But uh, even the more, even the premier ones, a lot of the premier ones may have a $15 table in their slower times, say like six, seven, eight in the morning. Um, and then as you drift a little farther away from Center Strip, you, you're more likely to be able to find it. And then of course, off strip casinos, you'll be able to find those $15 minimum bet tables. You can even find some of those elusive $10 minimum bet tables now, which is pretty cool. So uh, fairly simple, fairly simple. Now he waits, for, he waits for a point to establish and he doesn't specify. So since he's setting it at 88, I'm going to assume that he's just placing it, including the point, instead of doing a pass line. Uh, now you guys have to bear with me. I, I actually injured my, my right arm, so I'm doing this a little bit slower than I normally would. So he does exactly what it sounds like. 88 inside. And then from there, he just kind of bases it off the number of hits. So he's taken the inside, he's taken an expand, he's taken a regression, and he's taken a power press, and he's building it all up into one bet. And uh, so the very first hit, he's gonna throw in an extra $2, so he's $90 invested at the most. $90 invested on any given shooter. So this is actually a pretty good strategy you could play with, with uh, Anywhere between five hundred to a thousand dollars, depending on how risky you want it to be. If you want five to ten shooters worth of of bets, so it's not again not not terrible at all. So it throws in an extra two dollars because any of these will pay twenty eight bucks. So it throws in an extra two dollars, which gives him thirty bucks. Then it's going to place the four and ten for fifteen dollars each. Don't forget with Super Bowl coming up, guys. If you guys want to bet it, check down below that uh, that pretty awesome online casino I found is a really good sports book. So definitely be able to make your your NFL bets. Um, so he's got his he's now expanded out. So that was after one hit. After the second hit, no matter what hits, he's going to get paid anywhere between twenty seven to twenty nine dollars. It really depends. Fifteen dollars on either the four or ten will pay twenty seven dollars. Some places, however, are already a buy, in which case it pays twenty nine dollars. Otherwise, any of these pay twenty eight. So he's making between twenty seven to twenty nine dollars. We'll just say twenty eight for ease of you know that's the nice little average right there. So he's going to collect six dollars of it, right? So that was only invested eighty four bucks, and he's going to press twenty two inside. This is a re-injury on my arm. I'm hoping that it heals. Whoops, what am I doing? It's gonna press 22 inside. I'm hoping that it heals much faster than the three month time frame last time around. Um, I can't deal with it, of course. It just hurts, so I try not to. Um, so there we go. That's after two hits. He has now got himself to 110 inside, and he's got $15 each on the four or 10. Now, the third time it hits, now he's going to get paid anywhere between $27 to $35. $27 or $29, depending on whether or not they're by, and or $35 on the inside. So the third hit, and we'll just say $30 just to, uh, um, just for how it's just, we'll, we'll assume it's another inside hit. Another inside hit. So he's going to get paid $35, only now he's going to regress himself down. $35. And he's going to regress down to 
to 66 inside. So at this point, now he's down to the table minimum on the inside. That's good left hand practice, I gotta say. He's down to the table minimum on the inside. He's put up $109 into his rail, plus that $6 that he put up originally, or, or on the, uh, um, on that second hit. So that, that brings him up to $115. Now he was $90 invested, so he is $25 to the good after three hits. Now this is a 50-50 proposition, guys. You got a one in six chance of that seven coming. So you got a 50-50 proposition of being able to drop back down. But once you do drop down, you are now $25, through the good as far as your bankroll is concerned and you've got the inside and from here he says relatively simple he does pretty much the same thing he expands out and then he power presses but the expansion is going to be a lot slower first time something hits he's going to collect six dollars and he's going to to go ahead and do his fifteen dollar four or ten it doesn't really matter second time around assuming it's the inside again He's gonna, gonna expand it out again. Now at this point, this is where he's going to power press. This is, this is his, his power press moment. So for six or eight hits, at that point he's gonna throw in $3, because again, he's already to the good. So he's gonna throw in three bucks, and he's gonna take him straight up to 42. So if six or eight, either one of them hits, he's gonna go straight up to 42. He'll throw in $3, and he'll just take himself up to 42. Should that hit again, he's just going to collect a dollar, go up to 90. Well, we're in standard power press here, pretty, pretty basic. Now, when this hits, there's a lot of different directions to go, but the easiest one is just making a straight press up to 180. So you collect a little bit. And then at that hit, most likely you're going to want to go to either 300 or 360. 360 is not bad. So from 360, then you just, because at this point you're collecting just a little bit. From 360, take yourself up to 600. Take yourself up to 600. You're gonna get paid 420, right? So you're gonna have $780 to work with. Collect your 180 bucks, take yourself up to 600. And at that point, either continue with the power press or even go transition slightly to a mid press. Either go from 600 to 12 to 24 to 48 to whatever, or 600 to 900 to 1200 to 1500 to 1800 to 2400 you know you can do some kind of mid press sort of stuff there for the five and nine five and nine are going to be just straight power pressing as well at the beginning so the first time you're going to go up to 36 second time around you're going to go up to 86 so the third time around it's going to pay you 120 just, pay, just, just get paid 125 for five right take yourself up to 200 you collect six bucks, that's fantastic, but more importantly, you've now got your bet up into the blacks. Now at this point, now decide what you want to do. You, you're getting paid 280, so you could either go up to, to, you could go up to 480 if you wanted to, but honestly that's kind of a dick move. 450 if you really, really want to continue with the power press, or from 200 go to 350. Go to 350 and uh, collect a little bit from 350 to 500 and then 500 to 1,000. Either 500 to 1,000 to 2,000 to 4,000 and so on or 500 to 750 to 1,250 to 2,000, you know, somewhere along those lines. Same thing with the 4 and 10. You're just gonna go transition yourself into a standard little power press. So I hope you guys find this interesting. Thank you very much, Brad, for sending it to me. Hope you guys find it interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at least just plain fun. Please, guys, send me some emails. Send me some emails with some strategies, ideas, questions, anything along those lines. We'd love to shoot them for you guys. Otherwise, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye now.